So at NAB 2024, I got to have a quick hands-on look with the Black Magic Pixis camera. Now, this camera seems to be having a lot of controversy lately, but honestly, this little $3,000 camera, I think it's going to be pretty cool. So here are my thoughts on the floor of NAB. Definitely looks like a Black Magic camera, tons of different buttons, but we actually like the functionality of all this. It's just a really easy to understand UI. They don't mess around when it comes to it. It's not like messing with like old school Sony cameras or Nikon cameras. It's very intuitive to use. Now, one of the interesting things is that they actually don't give you an HDMI port, but you do have an SDI in and out, full-size SDI in and out, which is great. You do have a USB-C as well as an ethernet cable and then a 12 volt power connector. It does take two different CF Express B cards, which I think is actually a great choice, but because it's black magic, it does support recording to an external SSD. Now this top handle that comes with the Pixis camera does have built in 15 millimeter rod support, which is gonna be really great for rigging out this camera. I'm curious to see what Condor Blue ends up doing with some sort of a cage design for this, knowing that there are already 15 millimeter rods built into this top handle. That'll be interesting to see. Now a little bit of my audio got corrupted, so I'm gonna go ahead and reiterate a few of the things that I was talking about. One is that it will have a locking screen, so if you're afraid that the touch screen will accidentally get touched, you can just flip on that little switch and you won't have an issue. Additionally, this is a 6K open gate camera with all that Blackmagic RAW. It's the same sensor that we've had before, but just rehoused in a more professional, in air quotes, body. So on the back here, we have support for a 3.5 millimeter mic jack, which is really awesome. I think they did it because it's a cheaper camera, but also on the front, we do have a mini XLR port as well, if you're needing to use higher end audio. Now the power switch is conveniently located in the back, which is gonna be really nice, although it is indented in, so you're hopefully not gonna accidentally turn it on and off. And additionally, it does support using BPU batteries if you weren't trying to plug it in over a DC power port. So on the side, they're actually going to support different side plates, which is really Really cool. One of them is gonna be an SSD caddy, but I imagine a ton of third-party companies are gonna come up with some pretty cool ideas, which I think is really cool that they're allowing for that customization. And if you have any ideas of what you would want to be attached to the side of your Blackmagic Pixis, definitely drop a comment of what that would be. Now guys, we actually got a little bit of backstage access to the Blackmagic Pixis, thanks to Terry with Blackmagic. He's really awesome. But I wanted to talk about, now that I can take it out of the rig, just how compact it is. Now I know it is not exactly a hybrid camera, but that's not the point. It's a box style camera, which again is something we've been asking for for a while. It is roughly the size of a Komodo X, I would say. Would you agree, Jake? Or an FX6, yeah, something like an FX6. And I really think that that was a good idea because it's a nice middle ground between something a little bit too small and something that's actually practical. Another thing that I'm noticing now that I have it in my hands is just how many different things that you could mount to this. So at the bottom, we have tons of quarter 20 and 3 8 screws, as well as on the top, we have exactly the same thing going on, which is really exciting. And then again, on the side, we do have an option for those side plates, which is really cool. So it definitely seems like a well thought out camera. And again, I'm just curious to see footage on it. Unfortunately, I did ask if I could put a card in here, but right now these are purely demo units. So they can produce an image on the screen, but they can't actually record anything yet. So next month I should be able to get some footage with this thing. Another thing about the Pixis that's really cool is that the viewfinder cable is actually just a USB-C port. I think that's actually a really great idea as everything seems to be moving towards USB-C. It just makes everything a little bit more uniform. Now, one thing I almost forgot to mention is that it does have three different mounts. You have either PL, L mount, or a locking EF mount. I think EF is definitely an odd choice considering that that mount is kind of dying out, although there is a large library of EF lenses, so maybe that does make sense, but PL and L mount are also a really great option for the Pixis. Anyways, guys, this has just been like a first hands-on impression with the Blackmagic Pixis. Now, I am supposed to be getting my hands on one in about a month or so, so if you guys have any questions about this camera, definitely let me know in the comments so that I can make sure that I answer those questions in future videos. And also, if you're not subscribed and you don't wanna miss out on this Pixis content, maybe hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Anyways, guys, this has been The Pixis. I hope that you all have a fantastic week, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.